Hello everyone, this is Light Shadow, and today I'm going to show you step by step and everything how to make an entire stack of electric motors at once. So let's just get into it, though it costs a lot of dust, so if you're going to do this, think ahead a lot. So we're going to just toss a double chest down somewhere amongst the swarm. Should probably grab a sign actually. Huh, I have one. Perfect. So we'll dub this the chest of all the things that we have to use for this. So let's see, we'll just put that down. We're going to fail it, obviously. You know what? I'm going to just leave that in the video. You guys get to see me fail. Motors! Alright. So let's get our supplies. So let's see, first up we're going to need to get a chunk of iron ingots, so let's see if we can get all of them. Let's see, there we go. Four stacks exactly. Also, one stack exactly of redstone. And then we're going to come over here and get two stacks of sulfate, like so. And then we'll chuck them all in the chest up there and we'll keep going. And they were just going to chuck them in there like that. There we go. See, I'll map it out more easy to understand all that in a sec. Alright. Let me think about what we need for motors. Okay, we're gonna need two stacks of zinc dust right off the bat for those batteries. And we need two stacks of copper to go with that. Though in total to get full on electric motors, you need 14 stacks of copper, so we'll just get all the copper now. So let's see, that's 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Alright, and we'll just sort that dust out real quick just for putting up purposes later. And of course, we need 7 stacks of iron dust. Let's see, I'm pretty sure I have 7 here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. As you can see, we're nearly completely full inventory rise already. And then we need a stack of aluminum. We're going to take that all upstairs. And then I'm going to just do a quick double check of what we have already so that I can confirm that we have everything. How's that for a plan? Okay, so we're going to outline the battery over here real quick. Because that's one of the main things I need outlined. Because it makes my life easier if it's all set out and all that. Okay, there we go. That's everything we need for a stack of the batteries. These iron ingots mixed with some of the copper and of course the iron will create the nickel ingots. And then of course we'll need another two stacks of iron and our two stacks of copper so we'll have two stacks of cobalt. Then we'll need that and that to get the magnets and then yep, 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 we have everything. So as you can see what I'm showing you right here is every single thing you need to make an entire stack of electric motors. So, repeating again, seven stacks of iron dust, one stack of aluminum dust, 14 stacks of copper dust, two stacks of zinc dust, two stacks of sulfate, one stack of redstone, and four stacks of iron ingots. We are not getting anything else besides what we have in front of us. Oh, for convenience, we'll be using automatic crafting tables yeah, after we smelt everything that needs to be smelted. So yeah. And also for our convenience, we have an automatic craft... <laughs> the automatic ignition chamber. So the smeltery won't go down anytime soon. And our nice thing about the one I have set up is I have a teeny tiny cargo system going. So that, you know, we have it all nice and set so that we can get it refilling flint and steels regularly. So that's a good way to do it too. Alright, there's our zinc. Now we need to get this copper going. Woo! See ya? We'll see how long this goes. It could take a little while, <laughs> seeing as, um, you know, it takes a while to smelt everything. Probably going to do a small cut for doing the main amount of smelting copper, just so you guys know. 
Like for the six stacks of normal copper ingots, we'll need to turn everything into motors. I'll just make a cut so that you don't have to watch that entire thing. Alright, so we're gonna come up here where I have my automatic crafting chambers. And we're just gonna set it all up. I like a so. It's the normal way you would do it for a battery or two. So this one is gonna make all the batteries. So while that makes us batteries, we're gonna come back over here and we're gonna get to work on everything else. So let's just grab all this. We gotta smelt it all anyways. So let's see, do that, do that, do that. Boom. And we just gotta get smelted. So you can see this video as me just showing you how to do this whilst I'm trying to research and get our stuff done for potential our slime fun videos. Oh, do see you guys know, for those of you who decide to watch this far and all, oh, so you have a head start on everyone else, once I get into college, which should happen during fall, I'll probably be switching to a one video a week schedule, just due to the fact that, you know, college takes priority. <laughs> As much as I would, would hate to admit it and all. So, yeah. I do plan to keep up with this, though. So, keep on giving suggestions and such. Especially in the comments down below, then I can keep track of it easierly. But, yeah. As of this current video, I have 70 subscribers. Or at least as of the time I'm recording this, I have 70 subscribers. So thanks to all who subscribed. I never thought I'd actually get any subscribers outside of people I knew personally, <laughs> need to be honest. Kinda just assumed that I'd only get a couple family members and one friend of mine to sub and that'd be it. You just about five subs and no more. But look at that, I got 70! So. Thanks for all who decide to sub and everything, it means a lot. Really never thought I'd get that many. Hey, so it means a lot. And I'll keep trying to do well and help you guys learn more slime fun stuff. I'm hoping into the future to do a full on slime fun survival series, potentially with a friend or two who here and there so that I can show you guys from the get-go which things to aim for and everything. Actually, we're taking these with us. Okay. Well, as you can see, I got all the stuff smelted nicely. So we're going to grab our batteries. I also turn that off so that we can grab these out. And just go and make the final battery on our own. There we go. And let's see, we're just going to make the correct pattern. As you can see, it's nickel, magnet, cobalt, and batteries. We'll just have that going whilst I get the copper. You know what? I don't need to skip the copper. I can just chitter-chatter with you guys here and there. Let's see, we're still going blend steels? Yep. So I'll just smelt this while we chat, you know? So let's see, going forward, I plan to do more Stardew Valley, but... Honestly, I think it's become a stream series when it comes to my Stardew stuff. So I hope you guys don't mind, but I'm mostly kind of just streaming it now. I plan to stream it later today, actually. But, yeah. So, yeah, I have a Twitch now, apparently. So, woo! I actually have eight followers on that, which is a pretty di big deal to me. So, thanks for all who've followed so far. I'm attempting to keep the content interesting, I just am not always sure exactly what you guys want me to do, you know? Like, what actually you guys are interested in, which things you're not so much. Yeah, how that is, yeah? Ah, oh, well. We'll just have to see. But yeah, please mention if you want me to bring back some series that have been on technical hiatus, like the Assassin of Steve and such, 
or adventure maps wise mention if there's one you want me to try out and I'll be at least willing to check if I can get to be compatible with my computer and everything. You know, some aren't so you know. But I would love to start doing adventure maps again. It's been so long. Anyway, now that we have our ingots, we're going to turn this off. My goodness, it's going faster than expected. I am nearly positive that I've messed something up. But at the same time, I'm pretty positive I haven't. Alright, let's see. There they are. Yep, electric motors. We're just going to watch them be created. Dun dun dun! An entire stack. But yeah, so remember to tell me what kind of things you want me to do in the future. Because it's going to be starting to become a once a week thing during college times, which will probably be late August to early September. Or when that starts, so kind of need help on figuring out which series is the main one you guys would want me to be keeping up with. Streaming, on the other hand, I could probably carry on with, so Stardew on YouTube's probably going to go down for a while, but I can keep up with streaming it. So, yeah. Just, just mention your thoughts on that stuff in the comments and all that. But anyways, as you can see, we have a stack of electric motors. Dun dun dun! And one sec, apparently I need to welcome someone back. Fucking such. So WB, sorry. Currently recording. Anyway, thank you for watching this video, everybody. Remember to leave a like, a comment, and subscribe. And yeah, just comment below an idea for a series you'd want me to do or continue doing. And also just mm, say rawr if you made this far in the video. Thanks for watching. This is Light Shadow signing out. Bye bye.